new toolbar that floats with me wherever I move. It's really fantastic. I've got label support. But probably one of the most interesting things about this is what happens when I turn off the network. So let me do that. Now I'm in airplane mode. I have no network connectivity, no Wi-Fi, no 3G. Remember, we're talking about a web app here. I'm going to launch the web app again. It recognizes that it's offline. And using app cache and the database, look at that. Everything comes up. Isn't that great? Now, you're looking at uh, the fully functional app that I just showed you that was working when it was all online. Now, if that isn't exciting uh, for developers, let me show you something else. Let me show you the... This is the HTC Magic, which was announced yesterday, our latest Android uh, device. And you'll note it's exactly the same application that you just saw. Let me go and select several of these things. You'll see the floating toolbar up here. Now, you may not get the significance of this, but for those of you that are developers, you surely do. You now have the ability to build an application that spans devices as long as that device implements the latest specifications of uh, these modern HTML5 web browsers. Let me give you another example. This is arguably one of my most favorite devices. You're looking at the Palm Pre. Now, this again is an absolutely beautiful device. Great uh, ergonomics, great user interface, but what excites us at Google is how Palm has put the browser, the web, at the center of their strategy. You're looking here at Google Maps. I've got my location, you can see it blinking, I can move, I can pan around, I'll slide open this Palm device, and I'll do a quick search. Now, what's interesting here is not that I've got uh, Google Maps. In fact, I did a search here, you see I found some cafes, I can zoom in on that cafe. But what's interesting here is that you are looking at a web app. It's not a native app. It's completely built on HTML5. Let me close that down and get rid of that application. What we are seeing is the emergence, possibly the emergence of a platform that spans these particular devices. We don't even need to name this Uber platform, this meta platform. It already has a name. It's called the web.